You might think the pinnacle of the Porsche Cayman lineup is the GT4 RS, a wild machine with a 911 GT3 engine, 493 horsepower, and a screaming 9,000 RPM redline that turns the Cayman into a track weapon. But there's an even more extreme version, the GT4 RS Manthe. This version dials up the track performance at the expense of any remaining road comfort. Manthe Racing may not be a household name, but the German racing team, founded in the late 1990s, has been managing Porsche Motorsports GT teams with great success. In 2013, Porsche acquired a controlling stake in Manthe, and since 2021, the team has been developing hardcore performance kits for Porsche sports cars. These kits, available through certified Porsche dealers, are focused solely on enhancing track performance. The standard GT4 RS already sets a high bar. Porsche has carefully ensured that the Cayman never outshines the 911, but the GT4 RS comes close. With the gas-powered Cayman nearing its end, Porsche's GT department went all out to create the GT4 RS, even replacing the rear quarter windows with air intakes to feed the 911 derived flat six engine. Compared to the regular GT4, the RS boasts a completely new drivetrain, a more rigid body, larger brakes, and revamped cooling, making it almost a different car altogether. Manthe keeps the powertrain unchanged but sharpens the GT4 RS handling and braking. The focus is on fine-tuning. The GT4 RS Manthe receives upgraded aerodynamics for added downforce, including a larger wing and carbon aero blades on the rear wheels. It also features steel braided brake lines and swaps out Porsche's active suspension management system for manually adjustable coilovers, further enhancing its track capabilities. The chassis and suspension tweaks in the Manthe kit strip away any remaining road comfort the GT4 RS had, turning it into a stiff, twitchy machine. Paired with an aggressive track alignment, this setup makes the car hyper-focused and borderline uncomfortable for street driving. But that won't stop some buyers from spending $53,946, plus installation. And no, that's not a typo. Just to show off at coffee shops and boast about the rear wheel aero blades. If that's your plan, you might as well stop reading here. The Manthe kit is built for the track. That's why we took the Manthe equipped GT4 RS to Lime Rock Park in Northwest Connecticut. Lime Rock is a classic American bull ring, just 1.5 miles long, but packed with fast, technical turns and a great flow. It's one of those old school circuits that makes newer, overly engineered tracks feel soulless. For our test, we use the IMSA layout, which skips the thrilling uphill corner, but adds a tough braking zone and a tricky chicane, turning Lime Rock into a track that challenges every facet of a car in a lap that lasts just around a minute. On my initial laps, I struggle to detect much difference from the standard GT4 RS. Both cars sound equally intoxicating with a balanced, neutral feel. Braking is linear and strong, and the driving dynamics feel very similar. Even that glorious induction noise, which floods your senses and lingers in your brain, is unchanged. It's as close as a road car can get to a leader bike in terms of auditory experience, but the stock GT4 RS offers the same symphony. At first glance, the $53,946 upgrade seems hard to justify. The real changes become apparent when I push. Braking, which has seen modest hardware changes, is a shocking improvement. On Lime Rock's short but fast front straight, the regular GT4 RS was squirrely and nervous at a threshold brake. The Manthe kit provides a stronger initial bite and instills more confidence as it slows the car down from 146 miles per hour towards the apex and with far better stability, likely thanks to the increased downforce. This kit, which appears to make the car more aggressive, also makes it easier to drive. That's apparent mid-corner. Like the regular car, the Manthe kit still moves around and is eminently adjustable, but there's slightly more understeer built in. The stiffer front springs and a shift of balance rearward are the culprits here. It still feels alive mid-corner, but that slight bit of extra stability is the key to a quicker lap. Lime Rock's double apex first turn, Big Ben, is an exercise in patience. In the base car, that corner can be a pain. The last GT4 RS I lapped, I found I was dancing between power and lift to get the car to rotate. The Manthe kit gets rid of that dance and replaces it with sheer predictability. 
I can get back to power sooner and know that the car won't bite on exit. That slight bit more initial and mid-corner push pays dividends on exit. When the increased steering angle and grip lets the RS shoot out of the corner. Lime rocks faster corners like West Bend and the downhill. An especially intimidating right-hander with runoff that leads directly into a barrier are where the increased downforce and high-speed stability become apparent. I keep entering quicker and watch apex speeds rise as the aero work instills more confidence. I'm sure it's faster than the regular GT4 RS. There's one way to find out. We throw on a set of fresh tires to set a lap time. Over two runs, the Manthe-equipped car runs a lap of 58.47, half a second quicker than the non-Manthe car I drove there a year earlier. Half a second might not sound like much, but remember that Lime Rock is only 1.5 miles long. On longer tracks like Laguna Seca, Road America, or Spa, that gap would grow. In fact, the GT4 RS ran a 7 minutes and 9.30 seconds on the Nürburgring, while one with the Manthe kit ran a 7 minutes and 3.12 seconds, a full 6 seconds quicker. Now, the question still remains, is it worth it? I guess it all depends on what you want to accomplish. If you want to just take your GT4 RS on occasional track days to have fun, and aren't someone who can fall victim to the red mist that overtakes many in the pursuit of lap times, then you don't need the Manthe kit. But if you're the sort of person with a lot of extra money who wants the ultimate factory GT4 RS and every tenth matters, then the Manthe kit is a no-brainer. If you have no intention of taking your GT4 RS on track, but just want to think you look cool, Porsche will sell you the Manthe rear wheel aero disc for $680. Sounds like a bargain. Precision engineering meets driving thrills. The Porsche Cayman GT4 RS is a car that epitomizes the art of driving. Porsche has long been known for creating vehicles that strike a perfect balance between performance and luxury, and the GT4 RS takes this to another level. It combines the razor-sharp dynamics of a mid-engine layout with the visceral thrill of a high-revving flat-six engine borrowed from its big brother, the 911 GT3. This is the Cayman enthusiasts have been waiting for, a track-focused machine that's equally capable on winding back roads. Engine and performance racing DNA. At the heart of the Cayman GT4 RS is a 4.0 liter naturally aspirated flat six engine. The same engine found in the 911 GT3. With an output of 493 horsepower and 331 LBFT of torque, this power plant is a masterpiece of German engineering. The engine revs up to an astonishing 9,000 RPM, delivering a symphony of mechanical noise that's intoxicating for any petrol head. The acceleration is brutal, with 0 to 60 miles per hour taking just 3.2 seconds. Coupled with Porsche's 7-speed PDK dual-clutch automatic transmission, the shifts are lightning quick, precise, and intuitive. The transmission's automatic mode is perfectly calibrated for fast road driving. 